Hey y'all, this is Jasmine with Mama J Pro. A little bit different than normal. Uh, today, making some cloth napkins. I prefer to use the cloth napkins over uh, paper because my children will go through a bag in a day. They just, I, I don't even know what they do with them. <laughs> um, so I had some of this material if I was going to buy material for it. I definitely wouldn't have chosen this material. It was left at our old house and it used to be one of those curtain balances. It's a small little curtain that you put on top. <clears throat> so I just cut it up into napkin sizes since it was already uh, sewn together on one side. I'm hemming or sewing the two holes cut sides, turning it inside out, and then doing a top stitch, like there. Now, I'm by no means an expert in sewing, very basic sewing projects. Um, sorry, I'm talking, so now my dog thinks he has to put his two cents in. Anyway, I'm using a baby lock uh, zeal. Which is kind of like the, their beginning machine. It still has a ton of things that you can do with all the different settings. So it has regular stitching and then if you put it on SS, it's either super strength or super stretch. Um, for like a normal sewing, I like to keep it in between a two and a three. And then you can adjust your different stitches with this one. <clears throat> uh, it's a top feed bobbin, which is very nice. I used to have one that had a little door. Oh, if you slide this back in this very hand. There used to be, oh, look at all that nastiness. Um, a door right here and you'd have to put it in. Um, I'm almost out of thread and I will show you how to... Uh, Put a new one in once this one's gone. Um, but yeah, it comes this slides off so you can make hems and stuff like on t shirts and um, other small things. I'll try to set you guys down to where you can see this. And there's a little storage compartment with all the different feet. I'm not going to attempt to tell you what they all are. Um, I think this is just a regular foot that you can see through. Yeah. I know this is a buttonhole maker. I never used one. Like I said, I'm not much of a professional sewer. I just know the basics enough to get myself in trouble. <laughs> anyway, I got it on normal stitch, like a straight stitch, um, in between like a two and a half. Actually, I'll get to see what I'm doing. So I'm kind of cheating because it's already sewn together. Um, there's a lot fancier ways that you can make a cloth napkin, and I'm just using the edge of the foot as my guide, which I think is a quarter inch seam. Make sure your foot's down and hold on to the loose threads, otherwise you'll not sew. <laughs> there's a couple stitches. So if this wasn't already sewn, I would make sure that my needle was down like that. I would lift the foot up and then turn it like this. That way you have one con continuous line and you're not having to start completely over. And then you don't have as many loose ends. 
but I don't need to do that because it's already sewn. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the hand crank over here. Always turn it towards you. Never turn it the other way. You mess up your machine. I like to always give mine a little tug to make sure that it's tight. And this one has a little thread color. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit thicker because there's already a hem. I didn't bother taking that out. Um, this is just something really quick. Because I am tired of having a day or two with no napkin while I wash. Lighten it up. Make sure that you leave and the material to go through. Got a little tight on the first one. Alright, before you flip it over, take your fabric scissors and cut the corners off. It makes a nice sharper corner. I probably should leave it the space in the middle so I get nice tight corners on all four corners. to kind of make sure that my edges are all the way out. Now, in the ideal world, you would have an iron and you would iron these flat, make things a lot, a lot nicer looking and easier on you. I like my foot has a little lip, so even a little bit farther in, I like to try to do that for my top stitch. sure that my needle is down, lifting my foot up and back down. Make sure you put your foot back down. I don't know how many times I've had really crappy sections because I forgot to put my foot down. And, oh, I ran out of bottom thread anyway. Look at there. going to show you one more that's partially filled. So when putting these in, you want it to face you as the same letter, as the letter P for perfect. If you could see that. So you see this is the P. I'm going to plop it in. Alright, oh sorry, I'm going to try to do this while holding the camera and where you can see it. So there's a little lip there. You gotta try to get that in. There we go. And hold the top thread and with your hand crank go down. Oh, twisting it towards you. Alright. I like to do that before I put the cover on because sometimes the thread will get stuck in between the cover and the machine itself. 
It doesn't really hurt anything, it just makes it a pain in the butt trying to draw. I like to give it a little pull to make sure that it's gonna do its thing. Lining that back up. I'm gonna put the needle down just a little bit so I can see it better. Alright. And then we're gonna finish. Hopefully. So there's a cloth napkin. My lines aren't straight, but I really don't care. <clears throat> that is how I'm making my cloth napkins. I went ahead and went with the double layer instead of the single layer. Because it wasn't quite thick enough for me. <laughs> this will give me an additional five more um, cloth napkins. Uh, please let me know if you guys like me attempting to sew. Uh, other than that, please like, share, and subscribe. Alrighty, so I ended up having to fill a bobbin which are these little things. Um, I'm going to teach you real quick how to do that. So you get your thread and always have it the same as a pea coming up from underneath. On the top little part where the screw is, then you find the actual hole here. Thread it through. I'm doing it on camera now. I can't do it. Okay. And then you push it over until you hear a click. Back up a little bit. And this thing right here, pull it out. Pulling this out, make sure that your foot down here um, doesn't move up and down. Ooh. All right. I like to have enough to hold on to it while it's going, just for a couple. Alright, this is my least favorite thing to do ever for sewing. And that's coming from a lefty who hates scissors. But I'd rather cut out patterns than I would threading bobbins. Alright, let's try this again. Excess. Um, this one has the ability to kick it over when it's done. I've never let it do that. But you just push the pedal and let it fill up.
here. And that is one nearly full bobbin. <laughs> I guess I should have been looking at my uh, thing here instead of my children. Anyway, that's how you uh, fill bobbin. Make sure that you push this back and this all the way in. I didn't push it all the way in one time and I couldn't figure out why I could hear the engine or motor in here running but the foot wasn't moving. I thought I had broken my machine. Anyway. This back on. I didn't want to read too it completely. Anyway, I thought I'd give you guys that little tidbit while we're still on sewing. Once again, if you like to watch me attempt to sew something, let me know. Please like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.